The Coker Challenge came as a, um, an idea that we would be about uh, rallying and driving our collector cars all over the tri-state area, Chattanooga and Alabama and Georgia. Uh, it's really important to me that we get our uh, vehicles out and drive them uh, so that, uh, because America loves what we do, uh, we shouldn't have any more trailer queens or garage kings. We need to get our vintage cars and our sports cars and our hot rods out and drive them so that um, um, our friends that love what we do see them. And consequently, the, the hobby will grow because people say, hey, I like that 57 Thunderbird or, you know, I think I'll get one of those. Um, and that's the whole concept um, behind our reason for starting the Coker Tire Challenge here in Chattanooga. We also wanted to invite our friends to come see us here in Chattanooga, which is the bright spot of the South, the Dynamo of Dixie. We love uh, Chattanooga and we want people, other people to come here and enjoy uh, Chattanooga as well. This year at the Coker Challenge, we had uh, 51 teams from as far away as Australia and Germany and uh, there were as many as 23 states represented. It's really a great thing to see our friends uh, from a far, as far away as California fly in and drive in, bring their vintage cars from uh, New Mexico. And our friends Alan and Norlene McKinnon came all the way from Melbourne, Australia to come rally with us and have fun and, and share a, a bite and break bread together and just laugh and, and have a good time here in Chattanooga. It's a great time. Uh, I encourage all of my friends to sign up for the date for uh, 2010. Uh, it's a good time. Thursday starts the Coker Tire Challenge and most of our friends come in. Some, of, some folks even come in the week before, but Thursday we do a number of things. Uh, you have to sign up and sign all the legal, you know, lawyer things, et cetera, and, and uh, do the disclaimers. Uh, we get to check the cars out to make sure they're safe. They've got brakes and turn signals and uh, seat belts and fire extinguishers and all the things that are important. Um, those rookies that have never in, uh, participated get the opportunity uh, to come to the mandatory rally school. Uh, that's where the rally master explains the course, explains how to do a time speed endurance rally. Uh, this year we finished with a, a nice reception in our, uh, in our museum here where, we, where I am today. and We get to renew our acquaintances and, and uh, get started and make new ones. And, and uh, it's a great start for our, our Coker Tire Challenge and we all look forward to the, the start of the first full day's rally on Friday. Friday in 2009, we started here at the Coker Tire headquarters. Um, the Staybridge Hotel across the street uh, it was our headquarters hotel, and many people were parked with their motorhomes all around the area, and uh, uh, many folks also were staying at the Staybridge. We had a, an 8 a.m. start. Uh, unfortunately, this year we had a lot of rain. Um, in fact, we got a lot of rain in the Chattanooga area after our friends from, at the Coker Tire Challenge uh, left and went on home. We had floods here in Chattanooga. So since we've seen all you guys, we've had, they closed the airport road and Brainerd Road where our retail store is, but um, we had some really um, uh, great rally roads. Uh, Rex and Charlie were here for 10 days preparing the rally. And, uh, Friday took the rallyists through northern Alabama and I think uh, had a lunch stop in, in Fort Payne, Alabama, back up through uh, the valley, finished at uh, Mountain Valley Farm where we had a, a very nice dinner prepared and uh, you got to ride up the top of the hill in our, our Yellowstone bus and a good time was had by all and you know it was really wonderful that uh, in the afternoon uh, it, uh, it really, sun came out and we had a, a pretty decent day on Friday. I even got to mow the yard uh, before uh, everybody showed up at our farm and, and uh, we had a great time. Day two of the Coker Tire Challenge took our rallyists uh, through uh, uh, northern Georgia, down to uh, through Cahutta and down through uh, Chatsworth and, 
and uh, all of the wonderful rally roads. And boy, was it raining. Those guys that were in the open flyers, I mean, remember Peter Hersey was, uh, he uh, bailed out because I think, if you've, you remember those commercials where you don't say don't drink and drive and the beer's up to the windows? Well, that's probably what was happening to Peter Hersey and those guys because it was raining. The open flyer guys, I felt sorry for them. I've done that uh, and I know how difficult it is. Uh, there were times that there was so much water on the road that it was a little unsafe and some people had to take some time delays, which is okay, it's smart. Uh, but we're supposed to have a good time, but we always need to be safe. Uh, I think uh, we had a lunch in Chatsworth. They finished up, uh, went up Highway 411, which is beautiful roads. That's just west of the uh, Smokies and the Cherokee National Forest, uh, up through Okoy and uh, down through the river road and finished uh, at, at Coker Tire headquarters for a free evening that night. And everyone was able to experience it, all of the wonderful restaurants in Chattanooga, and uh, we hope everybody had a good time Saturday night. Day three started off with um, overcast skies and uh, again, and um, it's really strange. We had this low pressure area around Chattanooga and we never have rain for, I think we had rain for nine days solid. Sunday started with overcast skies and some, some of the folks we had, since we said we had 51 cars, it takes about an hour or 51 minutes, obviously, for the whole field to go through the checkpoints. Uh, we had great checkpoint crews that were scat scattered all around and um, the folks went up through Palace Crossroads and all the way up to Dunlap and back by uh, Suck Creek Mountain, uh, across the mountain and back in. It was a short day of rallying. Some people got wet, some people didn't even get a, a drop of rain and we finished here and it was really wonderful to, uh, uh, to see everybody come in and we had the big uh, Coker Tire Challenge gate up and um, uh, I got to greet every single rally assist that came in and we parked and we had a wonderful lunch prepared by my friends uh, at Emerson Russell Catering and um, those guys are uh, really great. Thanks Emerson for great hamburgers and hot dogs and, and uh, Ty Holmquist and Curtis Graff are the third annual, I mean, third champions uh, for three years in a row. They won the uh, Coker Tire Challenge and I think their total score was about 25 seconds or total uh, for cumulative for the whole three days. and. Um, it was really a great fun. We gave out a total of $5,750 uh, to the competitors and um, the very special award, uh, the Bill Coker Spirit of the Event Award was uh, won by my friend Jean Ann Martin and, and uh, we're just really proud of her and the spirit that she gave of uh, just encouragement to all the friends and everyone. Uh, uh, Jean Ann and Gary had, did their first rally and event at a Coker Tire Challenge and uh, they actually placed, uh, I believe they placed second or third in overall and are really doing some great rallying. But most of all, they're just fun to be around. So uh, Jean Ann won the Bill Coker Spirit of the Event Award and um, we uh, hugged and, and cried and said, uh, you know, see you next year and saw all of our friends off and uh, we're looking forward to 2010 and an a even bigger and better and more fun rally. I don't know how I could get much more fun than this. What do you think? How about coming and being with us next year on the Coker Tire Challenge?